Hello friends, it's the Funky Play Brothers, and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube. And today I'm reading an original novel by Piggy the Cure by Terrence Crawford. Crawford, 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 and now let's read it. Ooh. As we left off, they were in a grocery store with uh, creepiness. The automatic doors whooshed! Openers Ben approached them. The automatic chime that signaled the arrival of a new shopper rang the hollowly across the store. The sleeping boar seemed unbothered by the chime, though a few of the infected creatures roaming the store seemed to notice and were now focused on Ben as he entered the store. Badgie entered next, fingers already wrapped tightly around the glowing around its otherworldly light. Casting dancing shadows across the store. Ollie came next, flickering overhead light and batty staff, casting a shadow larger than Ollie's own body. Both, of course, were dwarfed by Billy as he thought, brought up the rear, hitting his head on the low hanging lights. The infected creatures began lumbering toward the group, but this was far from Ben's group. First time they duck to the roads of the grocery store, ducking and weaving away from the creatures. The group made their way across the grocery store, making sure they're to sweep every aisle while avoiding trampling infected boars at the same time. Ben looked uh, for supplies as they moved, grabbing everything he could that seemed he like he wouldn't have spoiled on the shelf every few aisles. Ben or one of his friends would find themselves trapped in factory creatures are at either side of the aisles and with the creatures particularly hurting themselves into the maze of their own making. It was hardly an issue, just a quick bop on the head with a heavy enough object tended to stun them all long enough for the group to shuffle past to the next safe area if, if there was such a thing in this place like this hey kid badgie yelled panting as the narrowly avoided powerful swipe from on the infected boards you got a plan we can't do this all day i'm thinking ben hissed back trying his best not to wake the other infected creatures he knew were Sleeping just around the corner, his eyes searched around the grocery store, looking for something, anything that could help his friends out of their press. present prickly predicament. The grocery store looked to have been abandoned for quite a while. The few foods that remained on the shelves had been torn into by the boars. Evidenced by the shredded bag throughout the store and the crumbs on the creature's masks and clothes. The grocery store was a sprawling interglazed grid for the food of food and household supplies. Aisles marked with numbers, numbered signs displaying the contents of each row marking. The ceiling was a series of security gates, tall bared partitions suspended from the ceiling and operated by a system of gears. To be used in case of theft. The, uh, <clears throat> the casing holding the red and green gears seemed to be intact, the gears themselves missing. Ollie Ben whispered loudly over the sounds of the infected groaning, nodded upward to the gear set. Ollie understood instantly. He had been out on his own for a while and set sets of gears like this were common in Lucella. They were often in states of disappear despair but luckily they were easy easily fixed and operated ollie broke off from the pack searched the shelves frantically badgie hissed ollie help me find the missing gears we're looking for one red one green badgie stared blankly placing his glowing rod back at its place on his hip how Help you look, he agreed, moving to dig through the shelves on the opposite side of the aisle. But you should know that the badgers are color blind. Ollie's mouth fell downward in a concern of frown, but he continued to search. Then he saw a glint of green behind an old bag of flour. Ollie sne 
seized it and held it to his eye, charging it against the gear set into the wall. It was a perfect match. Badgy searched was not provi proving, provi proving to be that fruitful, and a horde of infected boars were bearing down on them. The t this time, from either end of the aisle, Badgy drew his glowing rod in anticipation of battle. Thonk, thonk. Two of the boars at the far end of the aisles fell to Billy's weighted barbell and hulking bowl holding a grimy but unmistakably red gear between two hoof-like fingers. What? Bulls are famous for seeing red. A smile crossed over Billy's bullish features as he tossed the gear to Ollie, who caught it definite, definitely. With his free hand, this was true. All you know, though, though bulls actually had a more muted, less vivid sense of vision than humans and likely could not provide the color red at all. Ollie took the two gears and ran, drawing the attention of the boars chasing the group throughout the grocery store. Ollie was small and fast, two, two advantages that the boars could not claim. Weeks or months or not having to do any work for their food had made this group of the infected particularly lagarvic. They moved at a pace that could not be described as glacial. Ollie charmed himself onto the shelves, crawling across the top of the aisles to where the gears were inlaid in the walls. Placing the red and the green gears into their respective slots, he waited for the security gates to drop. Nothing Ollie exhaled in frustration, but, in, but the longer he waited for something to happen, the more infected boars seemed to gather at the foot of the shelves. Badgie and Billy were dealing with their own boars, choosing to lead them away from Ollie. But at the other end of the aisle, Ollie could see Ben raising his arms and pumping at one of them quickly in a circular motion. Ollie squinted, mimicking the cranking gesture until it clicked. Of course, what the gear set the little manual motion. Ollie slammed the metal rod from the military lab and shoved it into the machinery using the leverage to get the gears spinning. They groaned in protest months of dis dis eh, disgust dis dis going through the grocery store as the gear began to work in the tandem instead of lowering the security gates from the ceiling. A panel in the wall began to open, revealing a single white key. Ollie rolled his eyes that complicated process seemingly involved yet another step. The creaking of the gear seemed to draw the crowd of boars back to the center of the grocery store, their groaning growing louder as they pressed in on Ollie. He shined down the shelf as quickly as his small frame would allow. The key just out of reach the infected creatures lumbered down the aisle the aisle toward There is a other picture. Badgy looking at a gear. Him, the last time they had seen fresh food was anyone's guess. Ollie moved to fend them off with his steel rebar, only to, to look back. And remember, it was still wedged within the gears. Trailing as a makeshift prank, the boars huddled around the base of the shelf. The scent of a fresh, juicy snack curling in their having bristled nostrils. Their snouts twitched in the air as they grunted, each hoping to catch the scent of their prey. At the other end of the aisle, Ben stood helplessly, helpless and petrified. He had spent so long with own, his only goal to being to find being to find Ollie to have him snatched away after so short time would be cruel. He had start dared started this journey journey in search of Ollie and he intended to end it with a cure in hand and Ollie by his side. A difficult feat 
if his young friend kept putting himself in danger like this. But even from his vantage point, even from his vantage point across the aisle, he could tell that his longtime friend was something clever in store. Using the steel bar, Ollie hung from the one hand, dangling just out of reach of the volatile infected boards. They swiped at his dangling feet, but he expectantly evaded each attempt. And that's the end, almost the end of chapter three. There's like one, just a couple more pages. And it's funny how he, I can picture him dangling and it's also, Funny how Badgie was just staring at a uh, gear. He's like, what the is this? So, friends, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow us on X of the Funky Play Brothers. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at the Funky Play Brothers. <laughs> Support our vlog at Cash App at the dollar sign Funky Player. So, yeah, more unboxings, more taste tests, more adventures, more monies, and support. Thank you for watching. Bye.